Hey, what's up, guys? It is Diplex here again, and welcome back to Battle of Empires 1914 to 1918. Today, we're in the editor, and we have a really cool battle ahead of us here. Uh, we're on a map that I haven't created. Uh, it was uh, given to me by a friend of mine called Rapid. He makes some amazing Men of War maps. Uh, this is no exception. It's a trench map, and it'll work just great for this scenario. We have the British troops set up ready to attack. Um, this is in 1917, by the way. Uh, you probably noticed that they're using helmets and not soft hats. Uh, this will probably increase their <laughs> durability, so to say, during battle. But then again, weapons get uh, uh, get more and more lethal uh, and get more deadlier, uh, and uh, so your protection must get um, better as well. So we have uh, BTRs. The one you see on the left there as the camera pans up is the Lanchester MG. Uh, introduced in 1916, and up front here is the Mark IV. Where are you facing, soldier? Howard Lewis. Face the right direction and get down. The Germans cannot spot us. We're sitting ducks out here. This is the Mark IV. I'm not sure if this is the male or female. Uh, I think that depends on what guns it uses, obviously. It's not a hermaphrodite, because it's got two 57mm quarter-pounders. Uh, or six, six quarter-pounders. <laughs> QF six-pounders. There we go. <laughs> on each side. And we've got a pretty nice um, setup here. So if you guys want to see some more battles in the editor that I've set up with Brits or, or, or you know, Australians, Highlanders. I mean, Highlanders are Brits still, but you get it. Um, or any other faction, I got Turks. I have Austrians, Russians, by the way, which would be awesome. We could do some Civil War stuff even. Uh, uh, Russian Civil War, that is. Um, I mean, anything that I can do, really. What are these? Why do you... What? Did, they, what? Did they just move? What? What? Hmm, they're alive and kicking. This will be the death of all humanity. AI. Trust me for it. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> it knows how to look around. Could we have... Uh, what's his name? Uh, who's the guy? Who's the guy that narrates um, planet Earth? Can he just come here and be like... The rifleman units are looking around for prey. These are spectacular little things. Anyway, that aside, I think you guys want to see the battle start, so I'm not going to keep you guys waiting anymore. The Brits are here and ready to assault. They've gone out of their, tren gone out of their trenches, there we go, to attack. Um, I will repeat myself, if not heard clearly. I want everyone to understand. Uh, and here we have the Germans. I'll go through them quickly in this rainy weather, by the way. I really like the rainy weather. Uh, it adds more grittiness to it, and the wind, by the way, carries the smoke away with it itself, like an amazing uh, smoke pillar. An amazing effect. Blah. Words aside, here we have the uh, Germans in their 1916 winter gear. This is going to take place in spring 1917. I'm not sure if the Mark IV was introduced by that time, but still. Um, they haven't uh, geared around yet because it's quite cold and they have their raincoats on. Um, so you, s you notice that they're still using the, the, the Stahlhelm, or the Pickelhelm here, not the Stahlhelm. So a bit of a difference there. Um, they have their MGs, rifles, and artillery set up here. So this is going to be quite a cool setup. Their flank, their left flank is slightly weaker due to the way this is set up. I couldn't really get any good cannon positions here. So I gave them a nasty ass 150 mil uh, uh, artillery support here in the back. So that's going to be good. They have two uh, 80 mils here uh, covering left and right. And they have three really nicely uh, dug in cannons here uh, covering this. So this is going to be a tricky fight for the, uh, for the uh, Brits. But without further ado, um, before we hit the five minute mark, I do want this... Uh, this, uh, this battle to start, you know, I should go under with a new motto. First blood within five minutes. <laughs> Hopefully we can get some of that. So, I'm going to send these guys Russian. They will be Russian. They will be Russian for their line. Here we go. I wonder how this is going to be, if this is going to be a shorty battle, or a shorty battle, if this is going to be a, a, a long battle, or if it's going to be a quick one, if the Germans are just going to wipe them all out, if the Brits are going to go in and achieve victory instantly. Things you do not know, but things you think about before the very, the very start of the battle. This is interesting. But yeah, once again, if you guys want to see uh, more of these videos, let me know. I got the editor at hand. I can do some, um, I can do some sick sick more World War One battles in early or late, uh, more artillery, more tanks, maybe urban engagements with tanks and all, I, I think that would be sick, but here we go, look at that by the way, can I just get, can I just get a sick shot of that, boom, 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 wait, I need to do it like this, look at this, here they come, da da da, da da da, don't hold back, guys. Right, they stopped. 
So this is the thing. Let's, uh... I wonder when First Blood's gonna get initiated, because the AI is always kind of, like, stiff. This is like with all Meta War games. They're in range, and they can see each other. They're just not gonna shoot at each other until uh, First Blood has, has gone down. The second someone dies, and the second uh, rifles are being fired at each other, these cannons will start shooting Brits all the way back here. And that's no lie. Trust me, you'll see uh, you'll see people dead back there as well. So, oh! I think, uh, did that wake him up? No. There we go. Okay, they're loading. And here we go. It hit the tank all the way back there. So there's no real logic to the way AI, the AI thinks when the infantry was right in front of them. Here we go, guys. The battle is on. And the Brits are charging with their bayoneted Enfields. This is pretty sick. On we go, lads. Forward. Marks, uh, the Mark IVs are shooting back. But to no real success here. I don't see any German cannons going down with guns, rather said. All batteries are fully functional here, and they are really making quick work out of the British armor. Not to mention the infantry that is pinned. They don't have much of a choice but to hold back for now. To hold it down. P.O.P. Okay, these guys are going to go around here. We're going to go up the hill. Man, these tanks are slow. Yeah, just the statement of the day. Man, these tanks are slow. Let's keep going, let's keep going. This terrain isn't really super suitable for tanks either. It's kind of hilly and shit. By the way, these tanks, eight men in the crew. Uh, so there's a lot of guys that they, uh, that they need to be operated entirely here with all the guns and whatnot. It's got a really low speed too, compared to the 20 of this armored vehicle Lanchester. Almost half as slow, actually a little more than uh, twice as slow. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, this engagement wasn't very lengthy. <laughs> We're talking minutes here, and almost everyone's dead. All the armor has been disabled back here. So the only way I can reason with these guys is to spawn more. And I'm going to put them out like this, and we're going to let them move out on their own behalf. Um, I'd rather spawn them closer, uh, but not obviously right in front of them. Because if I do it like this, they're actually going to move out um, on their own behalf. I don't have to sit here and micromanage, so I can enjoy commenting and giving you guys a nice view of the battle instead. Oh yeah, this is good, this is good, this is good. I don't know how many waves I'll send. Um, it's not about crowning one or the other, the victor. It's mainly just about getting a lot, a lot, <laughs> a lot of blood spilled, because that's what we like. From tree to tree here, they're, you know, they're moving up. If this would be a flat field, I'd see more point in just, like charging straight on, but since they have tank support here, they're going to kind of move at it tactically here and smart. Okay, this wing is not as encouraged at the moment. We're going to have to do some motivationary speeches here. Some people are obsessed with motivational images, like some black text at a white uh, background, just like, yeah, only you are the king of yourself, like something corny as that. I don't even know, man. These guys do not need any of that. These guys need <laughs> good support to get through the day. Oh, shit. Man, these Mark IVs have been putting some good rounds down here, but they have not managed to score any successful hits at the artillery. Uh, looks like some of these sandbags have been torn down. Oh, this one's down. Sweet. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Keep pushing. I know that they have MGs up here. Oh, that MG gunner is dead, actually. Would you look at that? So I'd say now's the time to continue the charge here. Press on the advantage here. Try and get in. Oh, they're being cut down here by some Gewehr fire. Forward, lads. Take the trench. Forward. Okay, they have an MG on the side here providing cover. Look at that guy with a Luger. Man. Okay, so the artillery is... Um, doing a pretty good job here defeating the infantry but the tanks with their speed and their size they're really big targets and there's not much they can do I gotta be honest with you here guys this is looking pretty bad we'll see if we can involve the RAF here in a, in a way or two that would be really cool wouldn't it 
and the Germans would like aim up into the sky and shoot it down or something. Alright, this is looking pretty cool. The center is kind of open. I would suggest a charge through the center. If I may. Okay, and we're gonna uh, take three Lanchesters here and move up. To Lancaster? Or Lanchester? Probably Lanchester. Move up, move up, provide support for the infantry. Forward your lads. Come on. Mighty. <laughs> I wonder what words came in later and, or after World War II. I don't think everything was introduced. This thing's been detracked, but it has its cannons. Or guns, rather. Said, Why do I keep saying. I keep saying cannons? I know it's guns. They're doing their best here. This one's stuck. I'm gonna help it out there a bit. Get it loose. Oh, this is on fire. Oh, that's nasty. Get out, get out, get out. Honestly, what do you do with your tank crew? You move up close. Get your... Oh, shit. These Webleys are not really doing it right now. Someone's got a Luger and is really happy to fire it. I can hear it all over the map. Like... Tsh, tsh, tsh. No, that did not work. Okay, we're going to try and move in with the support of this BTR here. This Lanchester is uh, currently not really doing anything... The trick is just moving straight up. We do have a peak back here at the 150 mil. I wonder if it's going to spot it and take it out. Doesn't seem to be too obsessed, so I'm going to give the Germans a hand here to try and figure out what to do. Oh, they overshot it. But the blast of that 150 mil shell was enough to knock it over and bring it out of action. So that was pretty bad. Okay, we're going to see if we can take the trench here with some of the troops. Move in, move in. We are losing all armor support. So we must be hurrying up. I don't even know. I think I've lost my ability to, to, to make British sounds, at least now. I'm so tired of talking. I'm uh, not tired of talking, but I've been recording videos all day. Keep going, keep going. Forwards. Put a gun there on the left side. I'm just gonna stick to my transatlantic accent until I'm until I'm feeling the groove. <laughs> sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Shit, dude, they're in there. Get him. Oh, that's looking pretty good, actually. Look at them there. That's a very cinematic view. Dead in the trench like that. Sweet. Just the okay, so The center is positioned right here. Not really having any major success on either flanks. The center broke, but. The Germans still have artillery. They're gonna tear these sandbags down here and lower this thing a bit. So that they have a better range here and a better possibility of hitting their targets. I want both sides back reasonably. Boom. Goodbye, rest in pepperoni. Okay, let's spawn four more waves. Oof, they're gonna get to it straight away. I know it might seem a lot to bring in four of these, but they're not really as good as they might seem. They can't really hit these guys. Whoa, okay, well, jinx them. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Rudolph. We'll get some more guys on that. Boom. That really did it. He went on it straight away and fired. That was sweet. So you see, they go down quite quickly here. But they're going for a central push this time around. I spawned all in the center. Just to kind of put emphasis on, on, the, on the center push here. We're breaking the center here. Um... We're, we're, we're broken. We're, we're, we're breaking. We're broken. We've broken their flank. We've, we've, um, we've destroyed their center. I'll just put it that way until I can get my uh, my English right. <laughs> oh, these guys are getting set on fire here, jumping out. That's nasty. I uh, I feel for you guys. So they're gonna try and advance up here. Uh, it looks like they've got a lucky hit on one of these guns because this one's actually been disabled. But this one's still kicking. So we'll see how long this wave lasts. Uh, they're still gonna try and push in, obviously, and try and get places. Um, oh, I'm gonna let them mass there in the center. Uh, they lost all their Mark Force, by the way, and they're about to lose uh, pretty much all their BTRs. I think that's the last one there. So they're actually gonna go with infantry now. While I'm at it, I want to take this time and uh, actually get some World War One planes in. Uh, we're gonna try a, a sop with. I'm not sure when it was introduced, but I'm sure that'll look that it will look amazing here. English 
Uh, there's going to be a pilot somewhere around here. Well, we'll go with a tank man for now. I know that there's a pilot class, but I don't think everything's been added just yet. So I'm going to send this bloke in. Aha, Vickers. He's got Vickers, Vickers, and a bomb, a small bomb. So this should be pretty fantastic here. Okay, that's 10. So we're going to bring him up to like 30 then. They never really flown that high, I think. But here they come. He's got the Vickers ready. Oh, this is going to be so cool. If you want to see more planes in my battles, let me know. Look at the amount of Mark IVs that they've destroyed down here. I don't even think they could deploy this many to a battle. I'm not entirely sure what the tank count was by the end of the by the end of the war, but it surely wasn't this many. Here we come! Open fire! Oh, that was awesome! We're gonna shove this artillery position back here. Not shell it, but we're gonna drop a bomb on it. Oh, that's probably gonna miss. Wonder if that's gonna be enough. Yeah, that's enough. Oh, they did as I thought they would. They shot him down. Ah, that's gonna wipe out a... Ooh, these guys are... These guys have probably got a guardian angel or something watching over them. Yeah, these Brits are moving in here. For the future, I'm probably gonna do some waypointed fights where I have, like, troops attacking uh, with, with the use of waypoints. Uh, it's really cool when they charge up like that. But this is, um... Have got an officer around here? Let's see tank crew members. Come on, you lads. No slacking around. Got an engineer back here. I don't think he's going to change the tide of the fight. Wow. Well, I got to tell you. We did a pretty good job. Taking out the center and left, but the right still stands. Uh, I got to tell you. I'm telling you a lot. I, I, I don't got to tell you that I got to tell you, but I'm saying. These 80 mil, um, 80 mil fuel guns here in the center... We've had four of them here and two of them at the back. These four here in the center have done some amazing work. I mean, they've essentially taken out everything that we've sent at them. Sure, they've been destroyed by now, but how many tanks have we not lost in this assault? Uh, we're looking at a good two over here, three even, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen tanks. Uh, that sounds reasonable along with the, at least as many BTRs here. So this has been quite a costly battle. But that's something I would really like to look into and see how many um, how many tanks they had in action by the end of the war, at least in 1917. Because I know that the first engagement had about six tanks and a couple of whippets. Um, there's a lovely getting to work. Oh, fuck. These guys are good shots. Let's see if we can rush them out. Are you serious, mate? Oh, he's doing a kicking job, mate. Fuck, he's reloaded. Get him, get him. There we go, nice. Let's link up with the rest here and just finish this battle. I do not think we're going to see a British victory today. But um, I think we'll see a German charge pretty soon as well. I want to try them out. Um, try and have them attack this side. Obviously, uh, hook the Brits up with uh, lots of field artillery as we did with the Germans. Along with some MGs and... Um, some, uh, you know, a decent amount of infantry and kind of turn it around and give the Germans the, um, their BTRs and their AA-7Bs, or the A-7B? A-7? Yeah, A-7Bs, I, I think that's what it was called. Um, kind of can't find the motive for that name if there was, like, what, six prototypes before the seventh, but still, that would be really cool. I'm sure the Germans would do equally bad or equally good, depending on how you want to put it. But yeah, Mark IVs and all that, really slow tanks, so... Infantry and artillery kind of wins these wars at the moment, not really tanks. There goes the last man. And wow, what a battle. I hope you guys enjoyed. I thought it was kind of cool. A look at the amount of casualties here in the... <laughs> in the dead man land. Uh, wow. Wow. Uh, anyway, so yeah, keep giving me guys suggestions for battles you want, and I'll provide them to you. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Ciao.